Hey there, and thank you for joining me for another episode of YQG and Bloom. My name is Tracy Martins, and we are still doing our pop-up podcast at Wolf and Rebel store on the corner of Drulard and Seminole in Windsor. And today I have Tylene from Tylene's Plant-Based Kitchen. Yeah. Did I get that right? Yep. <laughs> on, and she is a digital creator on Instagram. Do, yep. Are you on any other platforms? Or is it just Instagram? <laughs> pretty much just Instagram. Instagram? Yeah, I was doing TikTok there for a while, but it was just like a lot. And I just really like, I prefer Instagram. So yeah. I really like Instagram. So that's where I like. I do too. I'll throw it a TikTok here and there, but for the most part it is. Yeah. And you can just get scrolling through and it's like, it t- takes too much time. I know. So Jake was showing me, he's like, yeah, she makes this food. Like, yeah, <laughs> there's like a soups in your, co- yeah. are you completely plant-based? Like I would say 95%. Yeah. Like if I'm craving something, I honor my cravings and I have it. So, yeah. you know, sometimes I have other things, whatever I'm craving, like pizza or if I'm craving like a certain chicken dish, like I will have yeah. it, but 95% of the time. Honestly, it tastes a lot better if it's just the very occasional time. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, and I like it because like I was never a big meat eater even growing up. Like I never really cared for it. Mm. But now that I'm like majority plant-based, yeah. those odd times that I do crave it, it's nice because I'll have it. And then it's just like my craving satisfied and I'm fulfilled and like yeah. I'm happy and I just go back to my regular like plant-based eating. And I just find it like to be a really healthy balance for yeah. me. Like do you do a lot of cooking or? Yeah, yeah. So, but I like to keep things simple cause I work a full-time job. Mm-hmm. I'm an engineer. Yeah, so I meal prep on Sundays, and I just normally throw everything in the Instant Pot, like, (laughs) to make a lunch. So today I'm going to make a chili, and then that'll be, like, our meals for lunches throughout the week. And I make, like, a quick and easy breakfast, like, oatmeal, like, Mm -hmm. overnight oats. and, And then dinners, yeah, I try and, like make something quick up when I get home from work. Now, I wanted to ask you about chili because I love making chili Mm -hmm. and I would like to make a plant-based chili. Yeah. What is the preferred protein? So beans are packed with a lot of protein and they're so healthy Which kind though? I do. For a chili. Yeah. So in my chili, I put in kidney beans and black beans for even more protein. I also add in like crumbled tofu. And that soaks up a lot of the flavor in the chili. And then I'm also going to throw in edamame. So another source of, it's a bean. Yeah. And another source of protein. I I wouldn't even have thought of throwing all of those. Usually you hear it's like, okay, a lentil and a kidney bean or, but that's a lot of protein. Yeah. I try and pack as much protein in like all my meals. Like it's good to have. So. Yeah. Now, do you also do high fat or low fat? Is it a majority protein? I try and get healthy fats in. Like, that's something that's also really important. So, mm-hmm. you know, avocado, um, lots yeah. of nuts and seeds. Like, I try and incorporate those things into my meals as much as possible because uh-huh. that is something really important. Yeah. especially in a plant-based diet too, just to get those healthy fats in because, you know, if you're eating like fish, it's easier to get in those mm. fats. And Do you make your own recipes or do you, are you like me, that Pinterest and yeah, <laughs> all it, over the place? It's a bit of both. both. Like it's a mod podge. <laughs> it's like... Well, uh, with your own recipes, do you post them online for people? Yeah. Yeah, I like to post my go-to recipes, Mm -hmm. recipes that I'm, like, always going back to because my Instagram, like, not only to share it with other people, it's nice to have a spot for me to reference those recipes that I make in the past so I can, like, go back, scroll through, and maybe I had forgotten about something that I used to make a lot in the past, and then I can go back and make that, and 
It's oh. nice. A nice reference for me as well. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, Jake had uh, shown me the soup. Yeah. Now, what kind of soup was that? That's... Yeah, because it, it looked like a chicken noodle soup. Yeah, it's my take, like my plant-based take on a chicken noodle soup. Uh-huh. So it's chickpea noodle soup. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so it, I mean, it's the perfect weather. It's fall. Yeah. So have your chili, your chickpea noodle soup. Yeah. Which, yeah, it's okay. a good thing. I'm going to try that. Uh, yeah, I, I like to meal prep that because it's full of protein, too. Like, I put the chickpeas in there, mm-hmm. the chickpea noodles, and nice broth. And and I see that you do your Costco haul for all your purchases. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good place to get, like, staples. Especially for for the plant-based. Oh, yeah. To get the, the, the beans in that, like... For sure. It is so much cheaper at Costco. Like, I use a lot of, like, cashews. A bag Mm -hmm. of cashews at Superstore is, like, $30. Yes. At Costco, it's literally, like, $14. Oh, I know. It's crazy. And so those staples are awesome to get at Costco. Like, it's like a necessity if you're a plant-based eater, in my opinion. Oh, it's true. It is. But, I mean, even for the the regular, you know, like, if you buy milk or cream or whatever. it's It's just so much cheaper. Yeah. I need to go with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm there all the time. In fact, I'm going tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always feel healthier once I'm trying to do plant-based, and I'm just learning how to do the take on uh, the beans because growing yeah. up you were given kidney beans in a bowl. Yeah, there's fun ways to make them. Yeah. I'm learning that. Yeah, beans are like my go-to protein it's just like the whole food plant-based protein it's awesome but if you ever have any questions like let me know because i love this stuff so oh one question for you said the tofu for the chili Mm -hmm. what kind of tofu oh i do extra firm organic if you can um but the extra firm is the highest protein okay and it'll soak it up the best yes and how can people find you? What is your Instagram? My Instagram is Tylene's Plant Based Kitchen. I have fun on there. Oh, yeah, you, you got to watch it. It <laughs> is really good, and I'm learning a lot about it. And thank you so much, Tylene, for joining me yeah, today. No problem. Thanks for having me. And again, my name is Tracy, and I want to thank you so much for joining me for another episode of YQG and Bloom. You guys have a great day. Mm-hmm.